The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Hosea. Israel, come back to Yahweh your God. Your guilt was the cause of your downfall. Provide yourself with words and come back to Yahweh. Say to him, take all guilt away and give us what is good. Instead of bulls, we will dedicate to you our lips. Assyria cannot save us. We will not ride horses anymore or say our God to our own handiwork. For you are the one in whom orphans find compassion. I shall cure them of their disloyalty. I shall love them with all my heart, for my anger has turned away from them. I shall fall like dew on Israel. He will bloom like the lily and thrust out roots like the cedar of Lebanon. He will put out new shoots. He will have the beauty of the olive tree and the fragrance of Lebanon. They will come back to live in my shade. They will grow wheat again. They will make the vine flourish. Their wine will be as famous as Lebanon's. What has Ephraim to do with idols anymore when I hear him and I watch over him? I am like an evergreen cypress. You owe your fruitfulness to me. Let the wise understand these words. Let the intelligent grasp their meaning, for Yahweh's ways are straight, and the upright will walk in them. But sinners will stumble. And our response is from Psalm 51. For I am well aware of my offenses. My sin is constantly in mind. Against you, you alone I have sinned. I've done what you see to be wrong, that you may show your saving justice when you pass sentence, and your victory may appear when you give judgment. Let me hear the sound of joy and gladness, and the bones you have crushed will dance. Turn away your face from my sins, and wipe away all my guilt. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Sustain in me a generous spirit. I shall teach the wicked your paths, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, God, God of my salvation, and my tongue will acclaim your saving justice. Sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken, contrite heart. You will never scorn. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, Jesus said, look, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves, so be cunning as snakes, and yet innocent as doves. Be prepared for people to hand you over to Sanhedrins and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be brought before governors and kings for my sake, as evidence to them and to the Gentiles. But when you are handed over, do not worry about how to speak or what to say. What you are to say will be given to you when the time comes, because it is not you who will be speaking. The spirit of your father will be speaking in you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child. Children will come forward against their parents and have them put to death. You will be universally hated on account of my name. But anyone who stands firm to the end will be saved. If they persecute you in one town, take refuge in the next. And if they persecute you in that, take refuge in another. In truth, I tell you, you will not have gone the round of the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord.